Hey everyone, welcome back to Moolah Media. Today, we have some interesting news to discuss about Mr. Beast Burger and the future of celebrity-backed virtual restaurant brands. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out any of our latest updates. This is our first video, but we will have so much more to come. So it seems like Jimmy Donaldson better known as Mr. Beast, has announced in a series of now-deleted tweets that he's moving on from Mr. Beast Burger. As reported by Nation's Restaurant News, and I'll make sure to link the article in the description. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Beast Burger is a virtual restaurant brand with over 2,000 locations. But these are mostly operated out of kitchens that simultaneously operate multiple brands with orders coming from chains like Buca de Beppo and mostly ordered through third-party delivery apps. Now, Mr. Beast has partnered with Virtual Dining Concepts, which is owned by Robert Earl. If that name sounds familiar, Robert Earl is the Earl of Earl of Sandwich. He also founded Planet Hollywood and Buca de Beppo. Now, in case you haven't ordered from a ghost or cloud kitchen, my personal experience is that these orders are essentially an afterthought to the restaurants. Back during COVID, when I was ordering a lot of delivery, I noticed that the quality control wasn't very consistent with some of these concepts, and I'm sure it didn't help that burgers and fries are not the most ideal food to order through delivery. According to these tweets from Mr. Beast, the main reason for stepping back from the brand is for that exact reason a lack of quality control. This aligns with many negative reviews online where customers complained about the food quality and delivery experience being subpar. Mr. Beast said he plans to concentrate on his series of consumer packaged goods snacks, Feastables. Now some background on Feastables, his candy and chocolate business. Despite what you think, Mr. Beast is not Willy Wonka. He doesn't actually run his own candy factory. He works with a third-party supplier for that business. And packaged goods have so much better quality control and can be distributed across a variety of different channels. Now, what's more surprising is that Virtual Dining Concepts plans to continue Mr. Beast Burger as a brand. This could be a possibility as to why he deleted the tweets as exiting the business might have been a breach in his contract. I'm sure they gave Mr. Beast a hefty sum to get his name on this burger chain. And as of June 21st, the websites and delivery apps are still up. When asked if Mr. Beast Burger will be retired as a brand, Donaldson seemed to imply that it will continue on without him, stating that, quote, the company I partnered with won't let me stop, end quote, and that the partnership has been bad for his brand. Virtual Dining Concepts has not commented on the situation, and Mr. Beast has not tweeted about the topic since the original tweets were deleted. This news raises the question, could Mr. Beast stepping away from Mr. Beast Burger be a nail in the coffin for celebrity-backed virtual restaurant brands? It seems like the era of delivery-only food experiences using influencers as marketing gimmicks might be coming to an end. While this doesn't necessarily signal alarm bells for the virtual dining industry in general, it should be a warning that customers will only withstand gimmicks for so long. But... At the same time, looking at the Mr. Beast menu, I really just don't see the appeal. These look like run-of-the-mill burgers, and I'm sure Mr. Beast fans were curious about the concept at first, given the branding, but really, what is the viability of selling burgers, many of these made in the back of a Buca di Beppo as an afterthought, through delivery apps, through a recession like we're experiencing now, it might have seemed like a great idea during COVID, but many of the variables like quality control weren't really the priority at the time. Even more interesting, Mr. Beast Burger made $100 million in revenue from its inception in December 2020 until July 2022, but some experts actually believe it could have been more if the focus was on quality and customer satisfaction. Kirk Marillo Founder and CEO of virtual restaurant company Profit Cookers said this to Nation's Restaurant News. 100 million is a great number, but that number should have been 2 billion. 
if every one of your followers bought just one time, then that's two billion. It's all relative to how you look at the numbers and the industry. Was it success successful? Objectively, yes. But is it a brand that will last forever? I don't know. So what do you think about Mr. B stepping back from Mr. Beast Burger? Do you think this is going to impact the future of celebrity backed virtual restaurant brands? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.